Hello, Facebook Live. How are you doing this afternoon? Gosh, it is a beautiful and sunny day in Central Oregon. And I just, gosh, I wish I was outside playing. But unfortunately, I have work to do. So, but I did want to jump on here and say hello. So for those of you who are acquainted or don't know me very well, my name is Val Nichols and I am a women's coach. And what I do is I help focus on the talents and the skills and the spiritual gifts that you are given in your specific life. And I help you achieve exceedingly and abundantly more than you ever thought possible by creating a game plan and a list of goals. We break them down so that you will have a roadmap of action steps you can start taking today. It is absolutely wonderful and incredible. And I just love working with other women. I love watching the, the light come back on in their eyes. And I just, I, I love it with all my heart. It is definitely God's calling on my life. And it just brings me so much joy. So today I talked, or I titled my talk, um, my live today about failures of the past and not feeling shame, but being rooted in his love. You know, so many of the women that I work with have had very, very shameful past, whether if that's something that was done to them, you know, maybe there was some abuse in the past or some really a lot of damage that was done to them that was not their fault because they were only children, you know, and sometimes there's, there's women who go through things that were um, done to them by adults in their life that should have been the caregivers, but they didn't show up in the way that they needed to. And sometimes, more likely than not, there are times when we have shame and we have guilt for things that we have done. And there is a very, very real, very real pain that happens in those moments. You know, we feel shame and we feel Mm -hmm. guilt and we just feel like we're not good enough for so many different reasons. And here is the message that I have for you today. Ladies, I know you're out there and I know that there's someone out there that needs to hear this message. So if you're jumping on right now, say hello. I see that there's a couple of you guys up there who are watching the live. Um, So I'd love to say hello and say hi to you. And if you are watching this replay, just push hash, put hashtag replay. You can comment below as if you're watching it live. And I love reading the comments and responding back. So for the women and men who are out there who have that thing, you know, that thing that you're feeling that you just are feeling so much shame and so much guilt. And I know that there's like that visceral feeling in your stomach. Sometimes when you think about it, you feel sick, you feel a lump, you just, you feel just, it keeps you up at night. You just keep repeating destructive patterns because of this thing. I get it. I've been there. I know what you're talking about. And for me, honestly, there was things that of my, in my past that I swore I would never, ever, 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 ever tell anybody like I was going to take this to my grave. And here's what happened. Instead of being so deeply rooted in that thing of my past, because what happened is when I was so deeply rooted in that thing in my past, I was unable to move forward spiritually emotionally, I was literally stuck. And this is what happens. We get stuck in that place where we are unable to move forward in our lives because we are so stuck and so deeply rooted in that guilt and that shame and that remorse of what we have done or what was done to us. that we can't let it go and we can't step forward into the future that God has created for us. So what I love to do is work with other women to help them get to the root of what that is. And what it really is, 
not just those little things that keep popping up all over that you think is causing you this pain and this self-sabotage and these destructive behaviors and habits and addictions. I love to dig deeper and deeper and deeper until we find out what the real root cause of it is. And then we move forward from being so deeply rooted in that thing of the past that we are stuck and we move forward toward a future and a hope where we are so deeply rooted in God, in his word, and in God's love. Because when we are deeply rooted in the Lord and in his love, we can realize, we can open up to the possibility and start to realize the truth of the promises that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We do not have to regret the past, nor do we have to run away from it anymore. I was one of the biggest defenders of that. I loved to run away from my past. I would literally pick up and quit a job, leave a relationship. I would move to another town. I would change my phone number. I would block people from my phone just so that I could run away from the things that I was ashamed of and fearful of. But here's the freedom that I have today that I want to share with you. There is no condemnation. We are free. And the truth will set you free. I hate to put it to you guys, but sometimes that truth that will set you free will make you mad at first. Maybe you'll get angry. Maybe you'll resist it. Maybe you'll straight up rebel. But the truth will set you free. I know this from personal experience. And I know this from working with hundreds of women who have been able to step into a brighter future and a brand new hope because those who are free are free indeed. And here's another great thing that I want to tell you about stepping into your freedom and stepping into the life that God has always created for you, which is a life of freedom and a life that is exceedingly and abundantly better and more and bigger than you could have ever imagined or created on your own. Because someone reminded me of this today in a short conversation that we had. A great friend, Chuck, who is leaving the area, and I am just going to miss his wife and him dearly, so Dearly, he said this to me, me today and it resonated. And I hope it resonates with you as well. He said, Whenever the Lord goes before you, no weapon can prevail. So whenever the Lord goes before us and no weapon planned against us can fail, who can we fear? We can't fear man. We can't fear trying new things and stepping out there into a brighter future, doing that scary thing that you've been putting off, having that conversation like I talked about yesterday in my live on my personal page, having that scary conversation that you need to have that's going to be uncomfortable. I shared my experience yesterday about a really hard conversation I had to give, and it was just as hard to give it as it was for the receiver to receive it. But there was so much healing and so much truth and so much freedom in that, that we both walked away better, stronger, more equipped women. So whenever God is asked to go before us, the future will be bright. And here's what happened. When I was able to surrender my future, my business, my relationships to God. And not only in that, I was able to surrender my past to him as well. I got true and meaningful healing in my heart. 
And that's when I began to have hope. Hope beyond and peace beyond all understanding, just like the scripture says. And just like the scripture says, I rooted myself in him and in his love and in his truth. And in that, I was able to heal the hurts of my past. Those things that I swore I was never going to tell anybody. I was going to take to my grave, as a matter of fact. I was able to confess it to my mentor, talk through it, dig deeper, and then ultimately create true and lasting healing in my heart. And what happened from that moment forward is I was no longer so ashamed of my past that I had to hide it and run away from it and avoid it and do certain behaviors and habits that were not constructive to my well-being. They were constructive to me as well. What happened was I was able to speak about my past in a way that was not coming from a victim mentality. I'm not a victim of what has happened to me. I was able to speak with my truth with healing in my heart. And what has happened is the mess has become the message one of the biggest reasons why I have chosen to go into full-time coaching for women is because of the own healing that has happened in my heart and in my life. And that mess, that big, ugly mess that I wished I prayed that would just be taken away from me, I cherish those experiences today. Because what has happened, because of the experiences that I've had, and the hard work that I've gone through to get the healing and to be so deeply rooted in him that I have a strong foundation in my life today. I have been able to, through the love of God, been able to reach hundreds of women and help them to find healing in their hearts. And through the spirit, they have been able to get so deeply rooted in God and in his love and his promises that they have found self-confidence that they never knew they had. You can find your true lasting identity in Christ. You can have hope for the future and you can have the peace beyond all all understanding. I hope this message has resonated with someone today. Just one person. I just hope that one person, and maybe that person is you, will hear this message today that God is speaking through me to you. I hope that you will give me some hearts. If you don't want to share what go you're going through, feel free to just remain silent. Give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Just say, yes, it's resonating with me. And if you want to share your, your heart and your story deeper, I would love to hear that as well. I would love to hear what's going on with you today through your week. What can I pray for you for? I'm a prayer warrior. I love to pray for you guys. And I want to let you know you are in my thoughts and my prayers throughout the day. That's why I love connecting with you live here on Facebook Lives, either on my personal page, my High Vibe Tribe, which is for, for women who want to reach up level their lives in every single area of their life, or here on my business page. I love connecting with you. So if you know someone that needs to hear this message, feel free to share it. This is a public page. So you can share it on your page. You can share it in a group. You can share it in a message with someone who needs to hear this. But please just reach out if this message resonates with you because I, I love to hear your feedback. I love you guys so, so much. And I will continue to pray for you. And I will continue to ask God to lift you up and to help you up level your life in every single area of your life. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.